A never ending wind turbine, a forever rotating wheel, the alchemist's perpetual motion machine is the greatest machine that was ever discovered, but simply never built. In 1150, Bhaskara the wheel was invented by Bhaskara II, an Indian mathematician in an attempt to create a hypothetical perpetual motion machine. Like all perpetual motion machine, Bhaskara the wheel was a long discredited mechanism. To truly overbalance the wheel, the torque is in one direction is greater than the other one. The radius of the wheel would have to be altered throughout the wheel to keep the wheel in motion. This would have to be done actively, thus consuming energy in the process. So the machine would cease to be a perpetual motion engine. The motion does not continue indefinitely and will eventually be stopped. The momentum of the wheel does not manages to keep up with the fluid inserted into it. Because no working perpetual motion machine has ever been experimentally verified, all of them violates the laws of thermodynamics. Some design violates the first energy cannot be created or destroyed in an isolated system. They pump more energy out of the system than they need it to keep them moving. Perpetual motion is the motion of a body that continues forever. However, a pure perpetual motion machine is concentrated only with maintaining its energy for eternity, not changing its energy form. By the way, the US Patent Office refuses to even review a design that the energy out of a system should not exceed the energy into a system. A true perpetual motion machine never violates the laws of thermodynamics. Yes, all these videos on the internet are fake. Than type 2 machines violating the ever increasing entropy. They break the second law of thermodynamics. These systems take out energy by reversing entropy, the opposite of randomness or chaos. Changing these laws of thermodynamics is a terrible idea. If we begin to re-establish these laws, we have to change our entire understanding of the universe. Most methods on the internet have hidden electrical sources behind them. Making a wheel to rotate forever is possible by ignoring resistance, friction, gravitational wave. But quantum mechanics forbids it. This is because we cannot ignore gravitational field. They exist all around us. It is too sensitive that as we apply gravity to quantum field theory, our other laws no longer make any sense. Imagine an absolute solid. What is an absolute solid? There is no absolute solid as we know so far. Enter quantum fluctuation. Empty space is not empty. There are constantly particles annihilating and annihilating each other. At quantum level, there are quantum fluctuations. Individual movements of individual particles will put us back to string theory. If particle came into existence by vibration, why not everything remains in motion forever? Zero point energy is the lowest possible energy that a quantum mechanical system may have. Unlike classical mechanics, quantum systems constantly fluctuate in their lowest possible energy. But we simply can't know them because the Heisenberg uncertainty principle becomes useless. If we try to know its position, we lose its momentum. Because now the particle is smaller than the wavelength of light. So we have to leave it as it is, because our understanding at quantum state is a still so poor. In a nutshell, there is no system that is completely isolated. Gravitational wave will hinder it.
Maxwell Demon is a thought experiment created by physicist James Clerk Maxwell in 1867 in which he suggested how second law of thermodynamics might hypothetically be violated. James Clerk Maxwell was one of the great minds in 19th century. Among his many interests, Maxwell get fascinated by thermodynamics, the study of heat and motion. Maxwell was one of the first to understand that heat is just the motion of molecules. The hotter something is, the faster its molecules are moving. This idea would lead Maxwell to a very bizarre thought experiment in which information played a very crucial role. Maxwell theorized simply by knowing what is inside a box filled with air it will be possible to make one half hotter and another half colder. To make it possible, imagine a demon at the top of the box who can accurately monitor the movement of all molecules inside the box. Every time he sees the fast moving particle, he opens the window and sends it to the left side cold and as he saw a slow moving particle he opens the window towards the right side for the hot over time the fast moving hot molecules will accumulate towards the left side and slow moving towards the right side what is surprising the demon has done this sorting all by information about the molecules Maxwell demon suggests just by the information of the molecules, you can create order from disorder. The science of thermodynamics is over time the entropy of the universe would always increase. Things will destine to fall apart. Maxwell demon's effect is far ahead of its time and still today. In the movie Tenet, Christopher Nolan used Maxwell demon's effect to reverse entropy. But we would like to say reversing entropy does not mean reversing time. The entropy of a system is a whole different thing than the entropy of the entire universe. Two falling balls with different weight to reach Earth at same time if we remove all the other outside forces. Perpetual motion is the essence of thought processes in classical physics that was able to imagine motion powered by internal causes, inertia, without outside disturbing influences such as friction. It is an intrinsic nature of all mechanical object to be in perpetual motion. Unfortunately, it looks like this idea is never without a flaw, since every object have their internal friction, because no object is totally solid. Never mind the fact that a completely isolated object doesn't exist. And as always, thanks for watching.